What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today as you can see, we are sitting here at the SK Pierce Mansion. We're gonna do haunted paranormal activities and explore this house. This house looks very good. I can't wait for you guys to check this out with me. So don't forget, follow all my links and uh, let's go. The house was built in 1875 by Mr. Sylvester Knowlton Pierce. He actually owned the furniture factory that's right across the street right there. It is still a working chair factory. He built the house in 1875 for the love of his life, Susan, who died tragically two weeks after it was finished, so she didn't even get to enjoy the house. Oh, my God. She had some sort of a bacterial flesh-eating thing. Oh, God. So she died upstairs in the red room, which we'll be going to. Oh. They had one child. They had Frank. And then he waited the morning period of a year, and he married his second wife, Ellen, who happened to be the same age as his first son, Frank. So that didn't go over 25 years. You know, Ellen was 25, he was 26. It didn't mm -hmm. go over very well. Mm -hmm. So he married Ellen, and they had two kids. They had Stuart and they had Edward, okay? Mr. Beers died in 1888. When he passed away, he left mm -hmm. everything to Ellen. Back then, you don't leave anything to women. It goes all to men. Oh, okay. So Frank was not happy, the oldest son, so right. he actually sued his stepmother. Oh my God, oh my God. He sued her for the house, oh. all the money, the factory, and he wanted custody of both of his half-brothers. Oh. He lost. Right. She won in the Worcester courts. Mm. She won everything. Oof. Right? Yeah. Back then, that didn't happen either. Go her! Woo! That's right. Go nice. women. Yes. So yeah, she won everything, which is fine because later on in life, they've started to get along. When she passed away, she gave it to the boys. Yeah. So, the house is four floors plus a tower. It's 6,661 square feet. You gotta get that 666 in there. Oh my God. 6661. Six, it, six, six <laughs> it is a Freemason's house. They were all Freemasons. You guys know what Freemasons yeah. are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, isn't that they worship the devil kind of thing? Or? I don't know if they worship the devil so much as they- um, Like a secret society, right? Yes. And as we go through the right. house, I'll tell you more about the secrets that happened in the house oh, that were too okay. nice. Yeah. Okay, so it's 6,606 square feet. And there's 74 windows, 54 doors, four fireplaces, four floors, 21 rooms, a nice chest, two water cisterns, because we had running water back in the 1800s, one on the third floor and one in the basement. Um, let me think. I think that's pretty much it for the, that amount, okay? Yeah. So this is the room that had cool. to have the mo most renovations done. This needed to be gutted and done. New ceilings, new everything, okay? The sink is original, all the hinges that you see, all of these are original, even the glass is all original in the house. It's all original from the 1800s, except for three panes that broke during storms and stuff. Wow. All right, I'm gonna check out all the doorknobs, all that's all original, the hinges on the doors are all original, Shit, and they also cool. have Freemason symbols on them, okay? Oh, that's cool. Really? Yeah. So this is the Freemason symbol? Yep, some of them are Freemason symbols, yeah. And the door that you guys actually came into is actually the side entrance of the servant's entrance, okay? okay. His entrance is on the other side of the house. Oh. Okay, each of these... Well, he has his own entrance. They had their own yeah. entrance, yeah. Uh, yeah. Each of these doors weigh 200 pounds a piece. Really? And there's two on the other side, yeah. Big doors. Wow. Big, huge doors, yeah. Yeah, they're very thick. But Freemasons believe that lions were for protection. And if you look right here, there's a lion's head in the lock. See it right here? Oh, yeah. Yep, and then the Star of David, all this stuff right here is all Freemason symbols. So he was a Freemason? He, his sons were too. His son, oh my and god. And all of their famous guests that came here. Oh, I see it. You see it? Yeah. Yep, and as we go through the house, I'll show you more lion's heads. Now, do you have any of the original skeleton keys for these doors? We don't have the original skeleton key, but Ken, did the renovations for the house, had one made, and I own it now because he passed away in September. Oh, so, oh, he gave, sorry. so I have a key that fits all the closets, all the doors. Do you have that here by chance or no? I have it in my purse. Oh, do you want it? No, I, <laughs> no, can't, I, can't I just want to see it. No, I just want to see it. No, I just want to, I just want to see it. All right, come on in here. So Freemasons are related to the, to the Illuminati, right? Or is that something else? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just know about it. Okay, fine. You guys so, comment down below. Those are questions that, that can get you in a lot of trouble. I know, I'll let you guys decide. They can disappear, those questions. I know, right? Okay. All right, so this is Mr. Pierce's parlor. He had his own parlor. The ladies had their own parlor. Watch out behind you. Don't hit the mermaid. Oh. All right, that's mermaid. actually a Fiji mermaid that came from, you know, Barnum and Bailey Circus. When you were a kid, you would go to the circus. Yeah. Okay. Bailey used to come here all the time. He used to visit the Pierces and the Stemmermans, and he would bring gifts to them. So the owners that own the house right now, Robin, Alice, and Conti, had that sitting in their living room for 10 years. And when they bought the house eight years ago, they found out that Bailey used to come here, so they brought that here. 
There's only three of them left in the world, and that is one of them right there. Is it real? It, well, it's got it's got a chimpanzee. It's got real human hair. I know that. If that was a singing mermaid, I would not would, be seduced. Jeez. You would go into um, the oh. freak show, right? And right. you would pay a dollar for the snake pit. Oh, uh, got. Oh, yes. I see the tail. I see the mermaid tail. Yeah, it's and terrifying. see her fingernails are bones. Yeah. What? Yeah. I would not want to be part that of her just world, part though. Of the freak show. So. Okay. All right, like I said, the fireplaces are in the house. There's three on this floor and one in his master bedroom. He's the only one that had heat upstairs in his bedroom. So his everyone, wives didn't even have everyone heat. Everyone was just freezing here. The only thing they have is fireplaces. I've noticed the lights flicker a little bit here and there. Is that normal? No. Really? That means you guys. It kept flickering the other night for them. For the, the kitchen one just did it right now again. But like it flickered when we were in there, and then this one just flickered. So. Oh, look, know. is the kitchen one doing it again? What? I can see it. I don't see it. I see it. I missed it. Just wait, wait. It'll happen. Okay. <laughs> Maybe some paranormal stories. All right, well, that's cool because you're telling us stories and stories bring right, up ghosts. Right, right, right. I told you guys um, a lot of famous people came here. A lot of famous people. Betty Davis, the actress, she went to Cushing Academy over here in Nashville. She was actually one of the um, Eastern stars, which is a female Freemason. <coughs> Stuart Pierce was right here. Bailey from Barnum Bailey Circus. Norman Rockwell painted upstairs on the third floor. You know the artist Norman Rockwell. Hmm. Calvin Coolidge was the United States president when he was a senator. He used to come here all the time. Minnesota Fats, professional pool table pool player. He came here. All right. There's a story about the previous owners that were here. Ed and Lil that owned the house. Wait for the lights to flicker. No, I just <laughs> I randomly hear stuff. Okay. This is how I am. <laughs> okay. One morning, Lillian woke up from bed, went down in the basement, which I'll show you shortly, uh -huh. and she was digging in the basement. Okay. About six hours later, she came upstairs, and she had this bone right here in her What? Hand. This bone right here. See it right here? She, she found that in the basement? In the basement, that digging like in the hand. Oh, my God. Well, that's her hand, but oh. this bone right here. Yeah, it looks like a partial hand. No? What is that? It, well, Edwin brought it to his doctor's appointment the next day, and the doctor said that it was a female pelvic bone to a 16-year-old. Oh. oh, my wow. God. Which I'll show you downstairs where she found it in the kiln. Oh, so somebody maybe murdered somebody? Wow. Yeah. We'll get into that after. Yeah. Okay. Remember I, told, I showed you the lady floating right behind you? Is yeah. that picture? Yeah. No, this is the picture that Edwin drew. He saw her floating in the bedroom upstairs. Okay. This picture right here? This one right here. Yep. That's the... Kind of looks like the one I showed the you. The one you showed me earlier. Yep. Yeah, yeah yep. that's right. All right, this is the main entrance that we don't use because we always use the servant's entrance. Right up here, I told you got lion. See the lion's face right there? Yeah. The beard and stuff. There's one here and there's one on the other side. When you come into the house, you see the lion's head. That's for protection. Right. Oh, the other okay. side is for when the servants came in or somebody, they would see it up here also. Mm, okay. okay. This is the ladies' parlor right here. Oh. This is also the parlor that they waked everybody in when they passed away. The casket will be right here. This is where they wake them all. Yeah. I, I know so a lot of the old Victorians, they always used to bring in bodies to the house. It's like, were, were they all like funeral home kind of type of thing? Ah. I don't know about that, but I do know that they used to bring the family and stuff in here, and this is where they live. But they died here too. Yeah, yeah. They didn't have to go too far. True. And they used to bury on the properties too. Yeah, there's no. This is like a place. They're all buried down the street. The cemetery about a 30 second drive, right down the street. Yeah. So there's four fireplaces. Like I said, there's one in here. This is the marble one. Beautiful. The other ones are slate. He, like I told you, everything for his wife. So we found clothing in the walls. There's a child's shirt right there, and there's a woman's scarf right here. In the walls? In the walls. What when the? When he was renovating. Yep. And if you look at the scarf, it's almost like Ellen's right here. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah, very similar. That's what that was used for. I found this in the wall. In the walls, yep. What? That's creepy. So this is Mr. Pierce right here, and this is the second wife, Ellen. You can see the age difference going on there. Right. She's beautiful. This is the one he left the money to. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, he no, he was still alive. But yeah, he left the money to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah when he mm -hmm. passed away, yeah. And she's the one that was having that, that got sued by the son. By the son, Frank. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty sad. But then at the end, they ended up working all out. So. That's, that's the shirt, right? Clothing, yeah. yeah. Oh my wow, god. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. Found that in the wall. Now, did you find like any it? other stuff in the walls, or just? Um, like newspapers and stuff, but they were so frail that yeah. we couldn't, you know, and then, um, I don't think there's any in here. Nope, nope, we didn't save any of them. But all this stuff, like over here, we found a bell downstairs and they found in the cistern. This is the original electrical box, you know how we have big ones now? Yeah, yeah. This, this one ran the house. Oh my. Right? And this is what the house used to look like, right here. When he first built it, this was the house. Ooh, I like that fence around it. Right? Marble. Right, that's beautiful. Marble, yeah. This is also where the little boy was seen in the window. He was seen in this window right here. 
It has also been seen in this window over here. There's a book that was- Hey, 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 what's the I just, I just see it moving. Yeah, the shower I, is I, moving, actually. I didn't move Why it. Why is that moving? Nobody touched it. We, and we, there's nobody walking, it's just us. Oh my God. I didn't touch it. What the hell? That is weird. Guys, we've been in there for like the last uh, 10 minutes. We've been recording 10 minutes nonstop. Can, can you guys, uh, they can see that. Yeah, I'm here. What the hell is that? Hold on. It's sweet. What's wrong? It's like a, is that a fingerprint? Or am I going crazy? <laughs> Like a, like a kiss fingerprint? Inside or outside? On the window right here. Oh, I see it. What is that? You see that? Uh, I should show you a picture of the fingerprints that she caught. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But like, it's weird because we came in, that wasn't swaying. That's what caught my attention. It started to sway as we were just talking. It'll say swaying more now. Yeah, it is. They can't see it. What the heck? That is weird. We were in the other room the whole time. Yeah. All right, so this is where the little boy was seen in this window right here. Okay. He lived next door with his mom. His mom was a single mom upstairs. And when Ed and Lil moved in, the previous owners, he saw the little boy in the window. The little boy's like, come on over and play, come on over. So he mm -hmm. went inside, said to his mom, can we um, go over? I'm going to play with the little boy. So they knocked on the door that you guys all came in. Right. Ed and Lil answered the door and he says, can I play with your little boy? And they're like, we don't have any kids. What? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Wow. He's in the window. And they're like, no, we don't have any kids. I'm sorry. So this is him right here. That's so creepy. That literally looks that like little, a little yep. boy. And this is Rachel right here. Rachel Pierce back when she was two years old. That was Edward's daughter. Do you guys hear that? Huh, it's, it's moving more now, guy. I thought I heard footsteps. But this is Rachel Pierce. That's Edward Sorry. Pierce's two-year-old daughter. She died from the Spanish flu. And then this is Gordon, the little boy everybody keeps seeing. He drowned in the pond down the street. For some reason, he's in here now. Maybe to play yeah. with Rachel. I don't know. That is really weird. <laughs> not me. Like, not no, me. no, I'm not talking about the noises. Like, I can't get over how the chandelier is just... Like, oh, yeah, we walk in and it was just moving. Then no, it wasn't it's moving when we walked in. Walking. It's still moving. Like It wasn't moving when we walked in. It no. started to move. That's what caught my attention. Do you think it's the little boy moving it? I don't know. Look at how much it's swaying now. It is. Right? It's like it's the swaying. I just caught an orb coming off of it, too, on my camera. That's weird. That's true. That's cool. Okay, I, li right. I like in this place already. Oh, okay. This is the pantry. Oh, Everything in here is original. For the record, when we do the investigation tonight, we're gonna to be turning off as much lights as possible. So it's gonna get extra it's dark. Spooky. All right, so this is the pantry. Everything in here is original, from the woodwork to the drawers to everything. The woodworking is very beautiful, though. Isn't like it's, it beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All we did to was wash and polyurethane the floors. That's it. This is the dumbwaiter right here. It moves up. Oh, this is where they send like stuff up on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No it's way. Oh, so is that there. is that work so still? Or? So creepy, no, the dumbwaiter's in the yeah. other room. The, the I've seen that in the house. Yeah. The hill house. He said it goes up and down. What? It does uh, not anymore. But it doesn't. It doesn't work. No. No. Would you ever get it to work, or just no? Well, we don't really. He wanted to get it to work. The guy that did the renovations, but he passed away before he could get it done. Uh, yeah, last September. So weird. Okay. Okay, this is that's the butler's pantry. This is the cook's pantry, all original to the flour and sugar bins would be in here. No way. Yep. Yep. She would have flour. This is the original pie stone. Everything in here is all original, like I told you guys, even the heat grates. Yeah. I just love the woodwork in here. It's amazing. Because well look at this floor. Is it crazy? So it's gorgeous. Oh my, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And, and then what, what what's also interesting is how high the doors are. Mm -hmm. And back then, they always had them short CV. Yeah, they were very short back mm -hmm. then. So you know, but like... He was a person of stature. Back then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go to the basement. Okay. Alright, into the basement. This is where they discovered the bones, right? Yes, it is. Oh yeah. my god, I want to get down to the basement right now. Oh. This is where it was active the other day too for him. You, what, sorry, what'd you do? This is where it was active. Where we're oh, okay. Oh, this is an active area? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna so have to we found the bones. Yeah. Wait, this is not where they found the bones. It is. It is where, where did they find them? Like under the concrete or oh, in here? This is a big basement. I know, right? Wow. This, this is called a kiln. It fills up with mm. um, wood and then there'll be a metal pan in there for water. Yep. And there used to be sinks right there, but we had to take them out for the French drain. But this is where she found the bones. Oh in my here. God. It was full of ashes. She dug them up and I showed you guys the bone. Yeah, yeah. All right. This is also where Doreen, the next door neighbor, she's sitting there. Nope. No, I don't see no one. No. I she saw got, her earlier. Yeah. She got this picture the last day they were digging up the basement in September, last September. Uh huh. She got this picture in this window right here. If you see the medallion outside, how high the medallion's up. Yeah. You can see her right here. See? She's on the table. Oh, what the hell? Okay, you guys, let's take care of this. Yo. 
Nice. How did you see that? Because she sits on the porch right there. That's so creepy. Oh, yeah. And she, see how high the medallion is? So you know that she's up high? Yeah, yeah. Her body is above the medallion, so oh she's God. up. It's from the other side of this. Can I actually have a picture of you, sorry? Yeah, this that is creepy, bro. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, actually, something is happening. Mm. Like, I, just, I felt like I just got hit in the head with something. But, like, my ear is ringing like crazy right now. Mm. Like, I felt like something just literally hit me in the head. I'm not even joking. What the hell? I was just about to say, yeah, there's definitely ghosts down here. It's like something just turned me off. Are you really okay? Yeah, I feel dizzy though. But like something literally just turned me off. That's that, that no, one. that's the dehumidifier. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Of, yeah. uh, you, know uh, you're, you know when you're in an airplane and your ear's closed? Yeah. But my ear is ringing and it hurts. That's weird. As I was just saying, yes, there's definitely ghosts in here. Mm -hmm. That was so strange. There's also this ghost that I showed him. You guys were outside again. Uh -huh. But last November, the previous owners were here giving a tour, mm -hmm. and one lady wanted to come downstairs by herself. She's a mom of two. She was taking pictures, and she got this picture standing right there in the doorway, facing that way. Oh my God! What? I know, right? We gotta keep our eyes on here. I gotta huh. see that. Oh. What even is that? I don't know. I do know that one of my friends, Brandy, said it was conjured. Oh last my year God. sometime. But we were having an investigation the same day that this picture was taken. What the hell? That is weird. Standing right it, there, facing out the door. Doesn't it kind of look like Carlo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> maybe. Guys, on this, you? on this trip, maybe Carlo would be chair. That's what Carlo looks like. I'll we'll be out of here. No. no. Why he doesn't look like Then I have to pick up, I'd have well, to pay him back. No, 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 I would pay him. I'll, I'll keep him up. <laughs> This is the dumb waiter. It starts here and goes up to the second floor. So it would have been in here. Okay. All right. This is the cistern, one of the water cisterns. The water started on the third floor, was brought through the house and filled this one up. Okay. And this locking. We are going to a tunnel. No, we're not she going. She says it's caved in. It is. Could it's we create? Couldn't we crawl in or no? We can't because it's behind this wall. <laughs> oh. All right, it's behind this wall. This is the front steps out here. Okay. This is the first part over so, here. This is the front step that we didn't come in this doorway. This is Mr. Pierce's okay, doorway, okay. okay? Faces his factory. Behind this is, it's a brick wall right now, but the front steps were wood, still are wood. Kenny, yeah. when he was doing the house, picked the wood up, was painting it. We noticed that that's where the tunnel is. So it can I ask you where the tunnel goes? To his factory. Oh, no way. Upstairs? No, it's just us guys, and I locked the door. Okay, because I, so, I hear somebody walking around upstairs. So, if you wanted to go to work, you would come downstairs, and he would take this tunnel to his factory. It would probably lead right to his office, bring, maybe? Probably, or bring people in and out. Freemasons didn't like to be seen in public, so they might right. have used it for, so you know, for privacy. Yeah. So, That's but cool. maybe bringing women through the house we right. don't know or yeah. if we uh commit a crime we can exit swiftly and back in i think the women thing makes more sense than anything it does because yeah. when we get to the floor third floor you'll know yeah. but also when they were working in here doing the french drains mm -hmm. i came here the first day i got came to shut the doors and let them out mm -hmm. the guy that head foreman calls me over to the other room because we found something we want you to look at i'm like what the heck is it it was another bone oh, that no. they found right here i didn't report it they don't know, so we'll tell them. All right, but we found it right here. I brought it to my house. Actually, I brought it in my car. Yep. Had it in my car for like a week, and my husband's like, Psh, Psh, take it out of the car, Mary. <laughs> so I brought it upstairs to the dining room, and I left it on the dining room table for a couple of weeks, and he yelled at me again. So I put it in cellophane, and I put it in bubble wrap, and I mailed it to the owner, and he has it now. But we're gonna put it in a shadow box and bring it back, because her bones belong back here where she do they know what kind of bone it was? Like they part? said it was an arm bone. Oh, oh my god. So, what? When I can dig it up on here, I'll show you too. I have a picture of it. I'm holding it. Oh, wow. Right. So there's a lot of mm. people pass over here. Mm. Okay, we're going to go in here. I'm going to show you this guy. <laughs> this is the torture room. This is where they tie you up to a chair. <laughs> it is? This is where you guys are going to be sitting. Yeah, yeah. No, this is like a... Oh, All right. So All right. This is actually the, the gardener's room. This is okay. David's room. Okay, so when you come down here, you're going to want to talk to David. Who is this guy right here? Another paranormal team got this picture right here. See how high the pipes are? See his head right here? He's almost as tall. His shoulder is up to the window. I don't see, what, am I, what am I looking at here? His face, oh, yeah, his head, he his body. Oh. Okay, now I see that. Beautiful. Oh right, God, so his name that. is David and he's in here. See his head right here? Yeah, I see almost that. Almost as touch it. His arm is right here. He's 
huge. He's huge. Holy crap. Maybe he makes himself look big because you can't be that big. Come on. Right. I would not think so. Nice try, David. We know you're not that big. I hope not. Probably yeah. probably three kids on top of each other in a man's cloak. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. All right, so over here is another doorway to go upstairs if you guys need to get out of here. This goes up into the kitchen, okay? Okay. So that's three spirits down here that I just told you guys about, okay? Yeah. All right. Damn. Second floor. The door's still locked, so nobody's in here. Okay, that's weird. Wow, we're upstairs now. What about the cloud? My mom used to have one She was like a very good at using it. Oh, really? When I was a kid, yeah. Oh. She, that's what she used to do for a living when I was a kid. She was a seamstress or a yeah. sewer? Oh, yeah, okay. Sewer. All mm. right. Back in Lebanon. I, I grew up in Lebanon. Right. At least. Yeah. Huh. All right. So this is both wives' room. First wife passed away in here. A year later, he's like a second wife in here. Oh. Mm. He was across the hall over there. They did not share a room back then. When he wanted her, he called her over. Oh. That's how it went. Huh. Right? That's when you want some, come here, baby. <laughs> that's it. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, no, no, right, no. Okay. I don't know if that worked today, but no, that no, definitely won't work today. My wife, though. Really? No, she she two sleeps kids. With, she sleeps with the baby right now to make sure the baby. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make sure the baby stays breathing at night time. Okay. Wait, why right? is there a clown on the bed? What's the clown? Oh, but we have a bunch of clowns throughout the house with dolls. They're up for auction. Oh, okay, good. Okay. He puts them on for auction. People buy and bid on them. Fair enough. Then we put it in a different room every month. Hey, if you want some holy water, we got some holy water. Oh, what? That's, that's, Hand oh. sanitizer. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> the holy water is down in the kitchen. <laughs> Aldo, do Aldo. not sit on the bed, okay? She gives me permission, not you. Did joking. Did anyone just touch this door? Because mm -hmm. I literally saw it opening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe I accidentally. Or maybe. Oh, what was that? Like, yeah, like, that was a light flicker, right? Yeah, I saw that. Or, Come on, you guys. What? Really? What do you mean? Everything's happening now without we're here. No, I think I just blinked. By the way, I'm known to have a ghost named Tom follow me around everywhere. I've been known for that to happen. Like, I've had psychics tell me, like, Tom is literally with you everywhere you go. Different psychics and I've never even told them. Tom? Yeah, I mean... Who is he? He's basically, uh, so like nine years ago, I summoned him up on a Ouija board. And then I set that Ouija board on fire. And then, I, I didn't know that you were not supposed to do that. Like, I didn't know anything about this ghost stuff, but they wanted Did it. You see the way so, blinking? yeah, and he's been okay, with me ever since. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> Great. Well, this is Maddie's room. Maddie Conwell, she was actually the nanny back then. She had a beautiful room. It's not as pretty as the rest of the house. But if you look behind you, she had actually, that's her bureau. And mm -hmm. under the, behind the bureau is actually the dining room fireplace. So she had needed clothing. Needed clothing. Needed clothing. Oh, that's right. Awesome. Right. Wow, that's, that's cool. cool. Right? So, yeah, if you open up, that's where her stuff was. They yeah, got some next old technology back then. Yeah. I love how it was built into the wall. Built into the wall, right? The pieces didn't even have heated clothing. What? So cool. I don't have heated clothing. She's like, all right. I don't want heated clothing. She's like, they don't know about this. I'm going to keep you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right by your feet, right there are two bolts on the floor. I guess I showed you the cistern down in the basement. Yeah. There's one on the third floor. When that one fills up with water, oh. you turn those bolts and it drains through the whole house and it fills up the one in the basement. He had running water back in the 1800s. Wow. What the? Right? This is the dumb waiter right here. It's now a closet because the fire department made us close it up. Oh, yeah. Because if there was ever a fire, it would shoot through the whole house. Go this way. This is where he found the little boy's shirt right up here. In the wall. In the wall. And they opened it up. What did they find, sorry? A little, little boy's shirt. shirt. Oh. Well, it's downstairs. What the hell? Okay. This is a nursery next to, of course, the nanny. All right. But when Ed and Lil lived here 11 years ago, this was his office. He works from home for Blue Cross and Blue Shield. He was in here working. They have two little white Bichon dogs, Casper and Wendy. They were in the other room, on their back, and you could see something rubbing their belly, like their skin, their skin was moving. And he was like, that's kind of cool. A few months later, he's in here working from home, and an apparition of a man came right up on the floor right here, looked at him, and then dropped back down into the floor. And he's like, that's not That cool. is weird. Right? Yeah. So he stopped working. He went down into the kitchen and told Lillian what happened. She said, you're crazy. Go across the street. It's a pizza place. I'm going to send you guys. It's going to close soon. So we'll hurry. And then um, get our dinner. So she, he went over there and he told the guy that owned the pizza place at the time, Chris, what happened. Saw a man come up out of the floor. He had scraggly hair, a white shirt, blue overalls. And Chris goes, are you kidding me? The guy just had a heart attack and died in my pizza place 10 minutes ago. Oh. He had scraggly hair, white oh, shirt, blue wow. Oh my God. So Edwin drew what he saw come up out of the floor and that's what he saw. That's creepy. That's creepy, right? What the... So side question, does that light always flicker outside? Is that normal? That's quite crazy. Wow. Oh, I don't know. I've never noticed. 
Wow. It's cool. kind of weird though. How come everything's flickering now? It's going crazy right now. You guys, I'm telling you. What's going crazy? Right there, that light. Like, you see it? Oh, I see, I see it's it. going crazy. Yeah, I see it. What the hell? Yeah. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tom, can you like make the light in your turn off and on or flicker or something? Oh, cool. If that thing does, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you do haunted tours. Why? You should have been scared. <laughs> right, all these bathrooms work if you need them. This goes downstairs, the servant's staircase. Yep. All right. Another bathroom. And they're pool change. Pull the change. Oh, for the toilet to turn on? Yes. Flush the nice. toilet. Nice. The what? To flush the toilet. It's a pool chain. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I gotta see this. Yeah, right here. Uh, I got one. Alright, you just pull this. Oh, I love this. What? Yo, look at this! Yeah, I've cool. seen those in the in Airbnbs that I've rented before. We have them like that the tubs. Before. So cool, right? Okay. This will be this awesome. will be a haunted bed breakfast eventually. So. Oh, cool! I, I love the clawfoot it, it tubs. They're, they're good. It will be, yeah, oh, eventually. Gosh, what's gonna happen? He's not sure yet. He just he says it's just so much going on right now. So. How long ago did you guys open this place up for tours? September. Also oh, recent. Recent. Well, I did on legally. So. <laughs> So it's been, it's been about a year then. But a year legally when we had the mayor here and senators and that's somebody running. See, I told you I heard a footstep. What? Wait, is that music? That's somebody running. Someone running in here? You heard that? I, we all heard it. Yeah. That was that was somebody running. It's not like somebody running in here. See, I told you I heard footsteps when we were downstairs. What the heck? I didn't hear them when you were downstairs, but those ones I heard. Yeah, those oh, thump, thump. Oh, what, what? oh my god. Uh, okay, I just saw a shadow on the, uh, under the bed. I swear to god, I just saw a shadow under the bed. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm not bullshitting, that's guys. What, I, that's the way they were running, though. They were going like this. I just, I'm just i shivering, y'all. I'm covering the goosebumps right now. I just saw, I saw a shadow under the did bed. You, did you get on there? I don't know. I don't know. Is anybody here? I see it with my own eyes. It's almost like it ran this way, right? Like, right from where we were? Oh, it's open. They went, it looks like it this way. What the heck? Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Oh, there's something over there. Okay. Where'd you go? Oh, there's Yo, this place is awesome. Can I buy it? Sure. <laughs> Don't be shy. All right. This is Eno Sari's room. Eno Sari burnt to death in this room. Oh what? my god, no way. Someone yeah, burnt to death? He burnt to death in this room. April 9th, 1963. He was an auto mechanic. He was an army vet. Um, he was working. He came home. He was a drinker. Yeah. Hunt all the nice gifts over there from Ooh. people. He was drinking. He was a smoker. He fell asleep in bed and burnt to death. This is death certificate right there. Oh well. Wow. There's a piece of burnt wood that was outside the wall right here where the roofers got it. And Man, how do you, you must have been like super drunk to not wake up from a fire at all from you. Yeah. Right? He was a drinker. Yeah. Don't yeah. drink, guys. You were so numbed up with alcohol that like you didn't feel the pain of the Nobody fire. Nobody here. They said that, um, I was talking to, when we opened up last year in November, I was doing a tour for some people. Mm -hmm. And a girl came in and Eno was her great, great, great uncle. And she said, nobody knows this but us, that he worked that day, as I told you guys, but he spilled accelerant on himself. And when he came home, he did not shower. Uh, he, bed, he was drinking. And that is his death certificate right there. And it says on the death certificate he was burnt from the neck up. Oh, my God. That'll, and that'll do it. Yeah. Well, it's about right. Yeah. There's literally so much death in his house. No wonder we're getting so much, like, random little yeah. paranormal activities. That is the death that's so okay. okay, guys. Oh my god. Wow. The shadow that I seen was really, really good. Glad we all heard that together that time. Yeah. In the basement, I was like, <laughs> That was you heard that too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is crazy. Alright. Making it our way up to the third floor now. With the original ropes and chains. Why did they make it levitate? It's holding up pipe. So we're like rats don't get in there? Maybe. Or... Uh, nasty, but pipes would have been up to the up into their on the roof. When it rained, it would fill this up, turn the two bolts that were downstairs, okay. and drain into the basement. Wow, that is amazing. And this is all original wood too. I'm correct. All original wood. Yep. This is amazing. Yep. To even have it in this good condition. This is very active, huh? I mean, I mean, to have it in this condition still, like you said, they cleaned all it up and was, stuff. All we did was this one here. He sanded, washed, and polished everything. Nothing had to be done to it. I get a very weird vibe in this room. This, this is a very room. active room. Is it? Oh my god! So you want to definitely right. be in here, guys? Okay? Okay. okay. I'll show you a video later on. We got all of us were sitting against this wall right here. There was five of us. I actually sat in that chair. I took the guitar out and sat in that chair. We got a head of a man. 
coming up out of the corner, peeked into the frame, and went back. Oh my god. So you want to be in here tonight, okay? Okay, so we should definitely do something here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, this is Susan and Sarah's room. Hello, Susan and Sarah. Susan and Sarah, okay? Susan and Sarah, we remember those names. Yep, remember those names, because Susan ended up pregnant at 16, okay. and then she disappeared off the census. Gone. Oh, well. What okay. did we find downstairs? What about the bones in the basement? They were for a 16-year-old. Oh, my God. She That's just disappeared. So they tried so to look they her up. Her. And they literally killed her. Like. She was impregnated by a man of stature in the house. Yeah, and then and she hid in a way. Killed. Yeah, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, killed. Gone. Gone. Kaput. Her name was Sarah, you said. Yeah. Sarah. 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 Yeah, Susan and Sarah were in here. Susan's the one that got disappeared. Yeah, and Sarah. Sarah's her roommate was in here with her, and she's still in here too. Oh, I don't want to say like a, a contest. Hmm. And contest. Two people won. Okay. One person got to bring somebody, and then the other person got to bring somebody. They got to go to a, a place that they didn't know, hopped on a plane, put them in a limousine, and drove them here. They had no idea where they were going. They slept in the red room. Oh. This here was in this room right here, and while they were sleeping, they heard the rocking. And oh. they were telling us the next day, and Ken goes upstairs, and he's like, was it this noise? And you started rocking the thing, and they're like, that's what we heard all night. Rock it. No, we're not into the wall. <laughs> I mean, if it was rocking hard, it probably uh -huh. right. Well, when you're below it, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't annoy yeah, That's creepy. Scared. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to stop it. <laughs> this is a not so nice room. Okay, this is actually Mr. Pierce's billiards room. This is where all of his famous people would have come. This is where they had their Freemasons meetings. I'm going to tell you something that happened to us before the owners now, Robin Allison, Ed and Will, and myself, Mimi and Ken and Tina, were at table. Have you ever heard of table tipping? Table tipping? No, no. Three legged table. It's almost like a Ouija board, but not. Is it like top tipping? Okay. No, close. It's a three legged table. You gently put your hands on it. Okay. And you constantly, whatever. And Mimi's the one that was doing it because she's one of the witches of Salem. And it rocks. It literally okay. rocks. And I'm actually looking under the table like, what the heck is making this move? Nobody was barking. And it literally started rocking and it was slamming into the safe downstairs. Okay. So okay. Kenny was getting mad. He said, stop it. We get up. We move the table back. It starts rocking again and slamming into the safe. He said, what are you trying to tell us? So we go back on the table and it started tapping. And it comes to nine. So I'm like, all right, went over to the safe. Behind the safe is woodwork like this. We, there was a, something wedged into the wood. We dug it out, it was a skeleton key. Whoa. Right, it was a skeleton key. I told you guys there's 54 doors in the house. Yeah. Every door we tried, the only one that fit was room nine, this room right here. Oh. It was tapping out nine. So. I was telling you to open it. Or lock it, unlock it, yep. Yeah. So why was it wedged behind the safe? We think somebody was trying to hide the key because a lot of most of my stuff happened in this room. Mm -hmm. All the safes that come in here say that's the room right there. Oh my the God. what room? Right. The room. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a very nice room. All uh, the psychic, the psychic that was here with Kyle the other day. Yeah. She made it to the door which was holy shit, what happened in this room? The girl? Yes. Yeah, it was hard. They got all that. Yeah, she got over there and she wanted to throw up and it wasn't good and it was, yeah. And then they stuck the two of us in the closet together and it wasn't good. Oh, well. Maybe you should go in the closet to light up. Yeah. Maybe I'll throw you in yeah. the closet. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. You know, like, you know, you know, know, it came five minutes in the closet or whatever it's called? Or seven minutes in heaven? Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah, it's out of the closet. Yeah, except this one's a, a lot of you guys have a bad version of it. Alright, there's the light time. I'm getting light. This is the tower. It goes all the way to the top. Oh, nice. Do you have a light on your phone? What? I'll take my flashlight later. Okay. Yeah. Spiral staircase that goes up. Whoa, this is so cool. This goes up to the tower, dude. Yeah. What? And all, what? The, all you see on the ceiling is what's up there. Yeah. Alright, I'll say I'll I'll okay. that to go up when I do my explorer. Yeah, I'm saving this for later. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's really hot up there, too, so. I bet. <laughs> Alright, and over the other room right there is William's room. He was Mr. Pierce's right hand man. He was Mr. Pierce's right hand man. He got everything Mr. Pierce ever wanted. His clothes, his food, women. Davies, apparently? No, this all this stuff belongs in the other room. Oh, okay. So all the, the baby stuff goes in the other room. This was William, yeah. sir? William. This William. is Mr. Pierce's right hand man. Okay. So this guy had his friends living there, too. Excuse me? Like he had his friends living in, in this house, too. He said his right hand man. Well, that was the person, his butler. I'm thinking like mafia, like no, mafia, oh, right hand man. Yeah, Maybe they were here too, I don't know. It's Tony, look at him with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are pretty high up, huh? Yeah. 
You miss the sunset. It's gorgeous sunset up here. Like I said, like coming up here, um, I've, I've heard of this place, but I've never dared to look at videos because I don't like to see what it looks like until I get there. And when you drive and up, when I showed it, I was like, "What the heck?" I wish I had a reaction on camera. It, this was bigger yeah. than I thought. It is big. It is big. But that's the end of it. All right. All right. You guys are got a lot of room. How long did that take? Uh, about 40 minutes. That's not bad. Thank you so much for that. So you gave us some There's valuable information. So much here, yeah. You were here when the, the new owner bought it. Now, I'm just curious, what were the price they gave this house? Like, 10 million? What they bought for it? Yeah. Like, uh, is it 10 million? They paid for it. Three something? No. That's it? That's it. Yeah. You're, because of the whole history. Because of what happened to them and it needed a lot of work. It was bad. Really? It was really bad. But if this house was. It was like was... two years from being condemned. They were going to tear it down. It was so bad. It's all new electrical, plumbing. Um, the walls aren't new, but we had to fix some of the walls. This one here was a nasty mess, and yeah. Okay. This is air conditioning I was, now. I was just curious, because, you know, something like this, I was thinking 10 mil, maybe, but... Because I know we don't ask people about these houses, but this house is so, so beautiful, it's like... Thank you. I want to know... Mm -hmm. Just curious, but you but you said that to the price. How much money was done into renovation? No, you this house? Yeah, was, How much? No, was that you guys? That was a my million? problem. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, so million? I just to, uh, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I am not going to see shows. Wow. And, uh, to own this I that much. See that, but yeah. <gasps> and then... Stop! You're so fidgety. <laughs> you turned that light off? Like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> my heart attack. I, I will tell you guys this one thing. There was a couple, there was a team in here about six years ago. They were, two of them were going this way. Camera ran and... Uh, Investigator and two are going this way in this room here. There used to be a wall that cut these two rooms in half, so it was two small rooms. This guy who was bullying and not being very nice, and this poor guy that was walking by that lifted it up. Oh my god. And dropped down the stairs. I was here that night, I heard boom, boom, boom. Whoa. And my kid, because That's there's no bullying. Yeah. Yeah. Price. Okay. So, someone got dropped down the stairs by the Right here, yeah, yeah, right here. He's walking by here with the camera, and he got picked up, so we took the card out of the camera, stuck it in the computer downstairs. You see the it was white, and then you see the stairs, and then they get broken. And he landed half on the floor and half on the stairs. Oh my god! And he hasn't been back since. I still talk to him, but you know yeah, that, that you know that yeah. happened to me in Gettysburg. I was doing my TV show, and we were in this haunted museum, and I got pushed down the stairs by something. I literally went down like face first. It was crazy. I just went to Gettysburg. Huh? I just went there. Really? really? First, yeah. I've never done YouTube videos yet, but I've always mm -hmm. done just stuff on the show. Yeah. My husband doesn't believe so we went for the history. Oh okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so those guys are there. I actually asked permission for something. And it's these locked. Guys, Turn these guys the thing. don't know. I don't know what to get right now. There you go. That door knob, yep. Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up. Get out of here go. for a minute. I, I don't want to see you. Leave it Thank, open, you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Yeah. Alright guys. I, in the early of the video, I asked about the skeleton key. Yeah, this is the original skeleton key for the house. She's actually giving me permission to hold this key. This opens all the doors, all the doors. but number nine, no. Or was it different? It does all nine too, yep. Oh my god. Those I don't know I have this. I'm the first person she showed this key to. No one ever has ever seen it yet. So, nice. thank you very much. Oh my god, that's awesome. I love skeleton keys like that. You do. Oh my god, I love them. Love them. So is Mimi, Ken's husband. Ken's wife, Mimi. Yeah? She, she collects them. She's a witch. So. I don't, I, if I could collect them, I would, but I don't want to go into all these houses and take them. But if I could find some like on line like ebay or some selling sites buy some rare ones or something i definitely would do well, it if i found because... house i'd take it no i, I can't if they I give can't... it to you take oh yeah it. they gave it to me yeah but if i go into an abandoned spot i can't just oh yeah oh no no, 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 no as much as i would like them i would go through the proper channel and say hey i was in this house you know please don't give me trouble kind of buy this key off of you or something you know what i mean yeah or buy something like off of ebay from somewhere like there you go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. yep there's and people racing out there no, the light is not. That's wild, right? Yeah. All right, guys, we have the whole thing of the house. I got the key. We're gonna start to explore. The woodwork in this house is amazing. I don't know if you, I've said it probably a million times in the video. We're gonna explore the house. We're gonna do the paranormal investigation. Everything in one video, so let's go. Oh my God, look at that. Okay. I'm gonna unlock it. And the light's still on. Is he down there? Yeah. He's not in the dark. Huh. Okay. So was that the first time you've ever used that? Yeah, that's the first time I've ever used it. First time she's ever used a key since she's had possession of it. Does it? Yep. 
Wow. Can you say you keep them first? I've always wanted to try it oh, and see someone that's done. This is the first time I've ever seen someone use a key. This is, that's amazing. That is such a cool thing. Yeah. You know what guys, I think I'm going to go online and I'm buy one. Just buy a skeleton key just to have for myself. And I keep it with my coffin nail. For you know what? It's a coffin nail. Got it from the house. We were pulling up stuff in the attic. Wow. That's what they built the house with, the coffin nails. Flying. Really? Yeah, so I keep the two of them together in my purse. Oh, wow. Maybe they can make me a spare key. We'll see. We'll talk. I might have a coffin nail for you instead in the house. So she's giving me one of the, what do they call the insert? It's a coffin nail. Coffin nail. Yep. This from this house. She's giving me something from this house. Something that she doesn't really give out to know, nobody. We, to we're the first. We yep. are literally the first. I want to thank you. This is You're amazing. Welcome. So. You, see the nails are, oh, you can't even see. They're square. The square heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, so come over here a second. What? Something that's never been done in this house. Come, stand over here for a second. What's this? Do you guys spray? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Protection spray? I like the smell good for the girls. They tend to hug me a lot. He wants a succubus tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Third floor. <laughs> All right. Where come over here a second. So I'm getting my stuff right. We got, we're getting special treatment here. We're getting the VIP treatment. Uh -huh. Here you go. You can tell them. He was asking me, you know, I have coffin nails from the house, original to the house. Oh, wow. Okay. Did you, I gave him we one. We got one. Okay. Oh, thank you. We get to keep these? Yeah, it's yours. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, thank you. That's actually cool. Thank you so much. I can't say it's not for or anything. But Probably, okay. I don't know why I take this home with me, but. It's great. <laughs> Shake your mouth. It'd be that. fine. You'd be fine. No, okay. you can't. Bro, I just bought a whole sword. I'm taking home with us. Yeah. Oh, coffin nails? <laughs> sword. You know, he bought an actual sword. sword. He bought a sword. <laughs> That's got to come with some bad energy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. And no, I've never given one out. Oh, you're, you're awesome. All right, guys, jumping later into the night, I'm going to show you the explore part of this house and show you everything and everything. Because this house, you don't want to miss it. It is probably one of the best mansions I've ever been in my life. So, with the architecture, how much has been done to it, beautiful house. So, I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. All right, guys, so this is one of the entrances to the house. I want you guys to just check out the architecture around each door, how high each door is, because this is not normal for a normal house. This is like extravagant and just everything in general. So, we have one staircase here. We have a door right here. Let's go in here. I'm gonna showcase you guys the majority of this house, guys. So, we have this beautiful piano. I've, I wanted to show you guys this earlier. And then this mermaid. Damn. That's pretty dope. And then we got a piano. Can't play more than that because I probably get demonetized. <laughs> but I want you to just take this all in. Like the fireplace, everything, guys. It's like amazing. We got some old books and stuff. Oh my god, look at that creepy doll right there. Huh. Spelling dictionary. Like, even these books. I don't want to touch the books because I don't know if I can... If I'm allowed to, I probably could. But, like, even the picture here. That's what they've seen in one of the windows. Bones in the basement. Franklin book. Like, this is some, old, some cool stuff in here. Ghost books. I find that this doll here is super duper creepy. This piano though is breathtaking. Like, you can't get better than it, eh? Okay. And there was three fireplaces down on this floor and one on the upstairs, if I remember correctly. This is... What is this room again? Oh, this is outside. I've never been in this room before. Nothing in here. It's got a lock. Oh, 
Yo. And like a lot of this stuff here, that's the shirt that we showed earlier in the video. And then some newspaper articles of the people owning this house. Yeah, guys, what is that? Oh, that's the old, um, for the gas, I believe. I'm not too sure what that rope is for. We have a newspaper from 2011. And obviously, do not touch. I'm going to respect that. I'm not going to touch anything on here. I'll try to showcase as best as I can. But, yeah. This is pretty epic stuff, guys. What is this? Hmm. Oh, it's even got his like, signature on those pieces. Yo, those are cool. Swing curtain holders, they look awesome. And this is all original to the house. A lot of this stuff is original, but they did have to update it a lot, right? Various nails used in this house. And those nails, she was kind enough to give all of us one. Uh, and I appreciate it. It's amazing that we got to have a piece of this house because I honestly think this is probably one of the nicest mansions I've ever been in. It's so surreal. Like I, I can't, I, my words are getting flustered because such an old house like this, in very good condition, they did a lot of renovations in it too. So when she told me earlier, I thought she said 3.5 million. It was 325,000. That's what she meant. And they have about a million dollars worth into renovations. So 1.3, 1.4. With the house that it's just like right now, it's, it's gonna be in the high high value if they ever wanted to sell it. But what they're gonna do with this is they're gonna turn it into a bed and breakfast where they only will sleep on the main floor. She told us why they can't do it on the top floors uh, because then it then activate, activates as a hotel and they don't want that. They wanna keep it as a, like a bed and breakfast, but that's not coming yet. And she said the wait list already is five to 10,000 people wanna come in this place. So we're getting it before it becomes like a bed and breakfast, which is cool. Let's check out some of this stuff here. We got some more paper articles from 2011. And she also said this place was almost going to be condemned and demolished until she stepped in and grabbed it. And then she ended up selling it to the new owners. So yeah. This is pretty amazing, guys. We got another piano here. Oh my God, we got a gargoyle. That guy looks like Mo right there. Hi, Mo. <laughs> All right, we are gonna make our way upstairs. Grandfather time. We'll always win the race. Like we got the stories in here of every room. But I want to go into the room and see stuff like, like this. That I didn't get when she was explaining stuff to us. I can't remember what this is called. This is very fluffy, this stuff. And even like the chandeliers. Pretty amazing. A singer sewing machine. I'm kind of know. 87778788. What are the chances you get only eights and sevens in your serial number? Huh. That's insane. I think I remember how to use one of these. You have to put your foot down there and then. I wonder if this works. Oh, excuse me. Got the hiccups. The closet, maybe? Yeah. A powder room? Oh, no. It's, no. Yeah, this is a powder room. Yeah, definitely. 
a powder room. Get back into the main hallway. This is what I want to show you guys. This is so cool. This is kind of like vampire looking to me. So. Scudder's history. What is this? 1492? No way. I'm not going to I don't want to touch that. That seems like it's old. Oh, it's 1776. So that book could be from 76? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe, let's see. Maybe I can get a... A date on this book. Oops. Usually the first couple of pages will tell you something. Okay, let's see. Hmm. No illustration dates. Oh, no way. 1884, this book. Wow. That's cool. Yep. And then this came with the house. It's an old uh, safe, Morrison Co. from Boston. Boston and Chicago made these old safes. So, yeah, that's cool. This door is heavy. Whoa. This door alone, I bet you is like two, 250 in pounds. It's so hard for me to move like this. And then, no, can't get this. Oh, this opens. I think, yeah. This is a dice. I want to know what this is. No, I can't get in there. Yo, that's freaking cool. So good. Like the, oh my god, it's so heavy just to push. I guarantee you that's 200 to 250 pounds. I guarantee that. It's so thick. And then... This is cool. A mon is this a monophone? What does that say? No. I'm actually lost. I don't even know which way I have to go now. Let me go to this room here. I'm gonna keep everything in the dark because it makes it so much creepier and awesome, the video. Not to sit on, we can't sit on any of the beds, guys. So even if you come here, you can't sit on the beds. Just show some respect and stuff. This is the piece of wood that was found burnt when the guy uh, burned a piece of wood and squared it. Eno Sari passed away. So this is the room where he, he got drunk. He drank a lot. He smoked and drank a lot. He must have got so drunk and his cigarette caused a fire in this room. And he died on the bed he, that was here. This is a newer bed, but yeah. Room six. Let's go into room four. Yo. Yeah, I came up here earlier and I was setting up the doors for pictures and stuff. You'll see the pictures maybe on my Facebook or my Instagram. You'll, you'll understand why the doors are all shut. So, but look at this, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna shut the light off for a second, right? And then we're gonna look down on the city town right now. Pretty cool, guys. This is gonna be an extremely long video. I, I have no idea how much footage I have at this present time. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying it. This could be anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour, maybe to a little bit longer. So. I just wanna capture everything. Obviously the claw. Tub. I think I showed that earlier in the video and then this she was actually explaining to me how you have to pull the cord to flush the toilet there's no handles even behind here she said we can't use the upstairs bathrooms but yeah you do your business you pull that and it flushes it like it's cool I 
a long corridor here. Yeah, every bathroom, yeah, it's got the pull cord. And we have another claw tub right there, which is pretty amazing. I, I love these things. And to have a bunch of them in this house that are in mint, mint condition is amazing. Like, I, I can't tell you how beautiful this place is. And then we have an old bag of clay. Horn at Crockett. You can pause the video right there. That's what that is. And then this. I have no idea what this is. Wait, whoa, I just noticed that. That was probably one of the dresses she said she found. She found a bunch of clothes in this house. I think that might be one of them. But this thing caught my eye. It's like a, a Ferris wheel. What's this made out of wicker? No, this is like iron or like a, a type of metal. I think maybe copper, to be honest. And we got an old buggy here. That's awesome. Little kid's rocking chair. And then, yo, that looks pretty dope. I like that picture actually. Complete fairy tales. I wonder how old this book is. Mm. Oh, 2009. Okay. So that book is not old like the other one is. So look at the vents here to vent this house. Like, that's pretty amazing. There's a sink in here too. Oh, look at this. The marble's cracked. So. Now this is the room where she said, uh, Sarah and, oh, what the heck was the name? Let me see, I think it's above the door, I believe. No. Maddie Conwell Suite. Okay. So this is the room where the two girls were sleeping, right? One of them went missing, and one of them was uh, killed, and that's where the hand was from the basement. That's what they say. So, but could you imagine? I don't know if the owners were alive when the person that was in this room died, but to find their hand years later, that's crazy. And then... This would would have been heated clothes because the, the the furnace is down there. It comes up and it heats everything in here because it's right beside there. So you always get warm clothing, warm blankets even. So yeah, it's pretty amazing though. To be honest, I don't even remember what where I'm supposed to go. I think I cleared all those. We're gonna go upstairs right now and then we're gonna get on to the uh, the uh, paranormal hauntings and stuff and again another claw tub the sinks are newer but the claw tubs they might have cleaned it up painted them maybe possibly for the porcelain uh, Oh, this one's a normal toilet. I don't remember where to go from here. Let's go this way. We might be going in that closet there. You'll get to, I'll get to that later, possibly. Okay, so. This is the room I wanted to come in and do by myself. This is the tower part of the mansion. So, we're gonna climb up this and we're gonna be on the highest part of the house. Yo, got green lights. Okay, so I'm gonna shut my light and we're looking down on the town right now. Oops.
This is crazy. The town's dead right now. Oh, wait, wait. Do I hear someone? Hi. Yeah. I love the blue lights. Or, yeah, I like blue. That's my favorite color anyway. The light blue lights. I actually might want to get some of them from my house because I didn't know they exist. I know red lights exist, but to get baby blue in, <laughs> I'm getting some. All right, back downstairs. Closet, I'm gonna assume. Christmas stuff, nice. Okay. How cool is that to see? I remember something like this when I went to school. Not so much like this old, but I guarantee this one's a lot older than what I had. But we had the same idea in uh, elementary school. Makes me feel old to be honest. Got another one here, wow. This house again. This is going to be a long video, guys, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, the Illustrated Treasury of Children's Literature. That looks kind of old. So I, I'm not going to touch this because I don't know if I'm allowed to. But That's cool. That is a complete set right there, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, it's not right there. I just noticed. That's cool. That's got to be easily uh, pre, pre 50s or 60s. I'm going to have to guess by looking at the box. Baby. Baby carriage. That's pretty nice. I see another one right here. This is for when you're not so much like a baby like that, but when you can have like a, a stroller. So. Welcome to the paranormal oh, investigation yeah. part. So, Let's go. So the little boy was known to be at this window here, guys. Put it right here. That way, it's like in between here and here. And we're we're gonna see if we catch anything. Sometimes these things work if if they catch something. Sometimes they don't, right? We're gonna see if we can catch anything on our camera. So let's ask it a question. Little boy, are you in this room? What was that? What the heck was that? That came from over here, the window. Carl, did... I heard that. That came from the window. Did you fart? No. That was not a <laughs> no. I just heard the, uh, the loud thump too. That came from the window from over here. Let me turn this light off real quick. Maybe you don't give us another chance. Okay. What was that? You just heard that, right? Yeah. 100%. Okay, let's ask him another question. Um, Little boy, are you here with us today? Tonight? Make the REM pop go off if you're here, or do something with a K2 meter. Did you get the chandelier moving earlier in the day? Yeah, you I, got, I got the chandelier moving. Make the chandelier move again. Can you make the chandelier move? That thing is like still as stone. Or yeah, something. that is still still. I can't believe it was moving earlier and we literally caught that on our camera. Yeah. Okay, maybe the boy 
is not here. I did hear it make that sound really quick, but not much is happening on the right pod. Let's try moving it to another window. Try this window right here, because this is where he was caught, right? Yeah. Like he was seen? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put it on this one right here. Okay. Um, little boy, how old are you? So there's two children. There's two, right? There's two. One that came from like this down the road that died apparently a while ago. Yeah. And then apparently joined up with the kid that died in here. Uh -huh. Is that true? Are there two children in here? Make the REM pod go off if there is. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Chandelier's moving. Oh, what? Chandelier just starts to. Oh! Oh, 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 there you go. Oh my god. We have activity rev pot and the chandeliers where we got the same oh. time. Yo, that's crazy because I didn't get any rev pot activity on my video when I put my rev pot here. You never got nothing? No. Oh, oh my god. god. No, what happened at the same time as the chandelier? Yeah. It's still it stopped. What? Holy crap, dude. That's Yo, crazy. Oh bro! Literally at the same time. I can't believe we caught that. So that's why you have to watch all our videos because Mo didn't get none of that stuff and we got it. Yo. So, yeah, how, how do you go wrong with that? Okay, so this is a good start to the night already. We caught something in the room where the little boy was. What do you guys think we take this upstairs now? Let's you know what, before you do that, yeah. Mo, because we're filming, take your phone out and take a picture. Maybe he's, you can catch oh, him in yeah, the picture. He's, he's right here. there. Take a picture. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Maybe you, you'll get something, I, I don't know. Very smart idea. Take three without flashing. Take three. Turn the light off. Yeah, turn your light off too, Carlo. Oh, I'm, uh, let's do okay. complete darkness. Oh, you got flash. One sec. I'll do three with flash and three without flash. Yo, I can't believe we got stuff on the REM pod and the lamp moving at the same time. Literally. Or the chandelier, I should say. Okay, I'm still snapping photos, so let's see if I got it. All right, let's review, let's review. Okay, let's see. Ready? Yeah. Oh, K2 meter was just going off. It, it stopped. All right, let's go. These are without flash. Okay. Anything, Something's moving. You heard that, right? Sounds like something is like standing right here. Yeah, lights on. Yeah. Lights on. Little boy or girl, is that you? What are the key hey, What's going on? I think this thing needs a, a battery charge. I'm gonna change the battery quickly because it's fine. Because we are already getting activity. And this challenge has just begun. Once That's we go upstairs, it's gonna get warped. How cool is that all? We got the rim pots up already. Like we're all doing, we're all trying to do different videos, right? Different aspects. Me and all of them are filming together right now. Mo did it by himself, and he got nothing on that. So maybe if we bring REM pod up, maybe we'll get the necrophonics out too. Um, uh, yeah. We're gonna try everything possible, what Mo did, and hopefully we can all get different rating, readings. Yeah, let's try to, yeah, let's go upstairs. Just, we've caught something, but I think maybe it ran upstairs by now. We're gonna go upstairs, guys. Okay. What's your name? Maddie Conwell, are you with us? Or Ellen? Maddie Conwell. Maddie? With a rim pod right there. What's weird is we cut the chandelier downstairs we got the and the box rim there. pod went off at the same exact time. So pretty much now we're surrounded by Yo, what? Mo? Is it hey Mo? No. What's up? So you see me? You said yes? Yeah. And Lily said hey Mo. Wow. If you can see me, who else is with me? Where are you right now? Give us a sign that you're here. What room are you standing in? <clears throat> Are 
Are you in Maddie's room? What what room do you want us to go to? What? Laura? Who the hell is Laura? Are you in Well you gotta watch? Are you in <coughs> Eno's room? No, they're not. Are you in SK Pierce's room? Three of us. Three of us? Okay, let's, let's check it. Said he has room. three of us. Okay, let's check SK Pierce's room. Watch the music box, that was us. You guys, you see when we walk by it, it makes a sound? Alright. So you said it's inside here. So you are in SK Pierce's room? Are you on this chair? Can you tell me if I'm getting warm? Are we getting warmer? What if I put you on the bed? What the hell is that? Whoa, did I just hear a man? What was that? Did I just hear a man? That's not what part the of this. Hell was that? Did I actually just hear a man? What the frig was that? Give us a sign that you're here. Carlo behind you, oh my god, Carlo, Carlo, Carlo. Whoa! Behind you. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, you just said give us a sign. What the hell? Are you causing that chair to move? Yo, yo. Carlo, grab the REM pod. Get the REM pod, quick, quick. Oh my god. Put, put it on the chair. Quick. Was that you? Get out. To get out? Yes, to get out. Why do you want us to get out? We're just, we're trying to prove to everyone that you're real. Give us, a, was that you? I, I believe in you, but some people don't believe in you on the internet. We're trying to prove to them that you're real. Touch the REM pod and show us that you're right here with us. And talk to us on this device. Where are you right now? Show us where you are right now. Mm. Give us a sign that you hear anything. Don't be shy. Have a seat. Why don't you have a seat? Have a seat right over there. Is that behind us? Something, no, something creeped behind us. What the hell is that? I hear something. Is anyone there? Yo, yo, check inside that room. Are you in the closet? Whoa, what a weird closet. What the hell? I don't, I, I don't remember seeing this. Carlos, you remember seeing this? I was this? in here earlier and there was like something like making noises in here. It was weird. What the hell? Dude, I don't think I've even been here before. This is the merch closet. Are you in here? Probably, oh, maybe. Where did you go? Let's go back in, guys. A rocking chair. Yeah. Okay, what the hell? I can't figure out the rocking chair. It's freaking weird. Oh. oh. What? Did you guys hear that? I'm here. Oh. You hear that? He said I'm here. Where? <coughs> where are you? Oh, 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 where the hell did that come from? I don't know, I don't know. That's a ball. Was that you? That's his baseball. I think that's his baseball. Bro, where the hell did that come from? Look at my, look at my red pie. I mean my K2 meter. Look at my K2 meter. Oh, it's going off. The K2 meter is going off. Yeah. Are you here with us right now? Give us a sign. I mean, that was a sign. This yeah, is that a was sign. a sign. Yeah. We're getting a lot of signs. Can you set off our REM pod? What if I sit in your rocking chair? Would that piss you off? Well, I'm gonna move the REM pod. Guys, don't forget it's me. I'm gonna put it here. Let's see if that works. I'm sitting in a rocking chair. 
Yeah. This thing's going Wait. crazy. There's something there. Oh, oh, stop. I think it was maybe calibrated. It just calibrated, yeah. That Wait. was right from upstairs. Was that like a knocking? That was from upstairs. That was like a thumb, thumb type upstairs, thing. Upstairs, yeah. You wanna go on? Hold on. Um. I mean, we technically did get something in this room, so maybe we should check another room. We got a lot in this room. Yeah, we did. Maybe we should check another room. What do you guys think? Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. What? Who, who put that on the bed? That wasn't on the bed. What? what? That. That was not on the bed. It wasn't? Was it? No. You sure? Because we were here. I Because I put my necrophonic on the bed earlier. What the hell? And that wasn't there. Where, where was that? I don't know. That wasn't on the bed. Hold on, was it sitting on one of the chairs? Hmm. Was that you? I'm so confused. Unless I'm thinking of another room, but I, I thought I put the re necrophonic on the bed earlier. I think you're right. What? Yeah, they're gonna have to watch the footage. I'm gonna have to watch the footage, but. SK Pierce, thank you for any activity that you gave us in here. But if you're upstairs, we're coming up now. We'll be here to loud talk. Are you still in this room? Make yourself known. And uh, yeah, let us know where you are, cause we're actually we're trying to we're trying to figure out where you are. Oh oh oh! The music box. Oh. The hell. Let's go. Let's go. Check. Let's go. Upstairs again. Yeah, should we go check upstairs? Let's go upstairs also. Go, go, go. I think it never went by this way. No, the stairs are that way. Let me check this room. That's where Eno's room is. That's the guy that caught fire. Should we check this room first? Yeah, let's do it. Because it could have went into this room, right? Guys, all will grab the REM pod. We're gonna leave it on the bed for a bit and we're gonna try some stuff in this room. Okay, so. All right. Show us you're in this room. Touch the REM pod if you can. Guys, we're gonna put this REM pod on the bed because the she was telling us that someone actually burned alive while they were asleep on the bed. So there's a possibility that they might be in this room, right? Because they just. Was that you, Eno? You know, actually right over where you died. You know, give us a sign. Hey, Eno. Hmm. Let's see if we can communicate with him on the microphonic. Yeah, let's try that. Eno! Go fuck yourself? <laughs> That's rude. Bro, spirits do say that every time though. Yeah, I mean that would make sense. Yeah. You know, give us a who, who are you telling to go after himself? Go to hell. Was that you in the hallway? Or was it the little girl? Maybe they're shy or something. Well, you gotta be patient, man. This is how it is with investigating. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes we spend like hours just to get one little sound. Yeah, that's true, guys. Hey, you know, come talk to us, man. Is it true you were drunk when you died, or were you murdered? Were you murdered? Hey, if there are any spirits that know Eno, can you tell me about him? Hey. 
What can the spirits tell me about Eno? Maybe he's not your opposite. Is it true he caught fire? Alright, well thank you for your time. We're leaving now. Okay guys, I don't think there is anything in this room. So, maybe you guys were right. Maybe they did go upstairs. Possibly. Right, Carly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we did hear like, a loud thump upstairs, right? Yeah, we did. So, it's possible. Guys, we're going to take this thing upstairs. And we're going to keep it Um... It's possible they just went upstairs. I think we've basically checked every room, right? Not oh, damn that damn thing. This thing is good, right? I say we go up to that big room because that's like supposed to be the most haunted room there. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Let's, let's go. I think upstairs. we should go up to the R room. What, what do you mean R room? We don't live here. The one that starts with the letter R. Oh, the R. Room. Can't say it because we will oh, get demonetized right away. There's a really dangerous room up here, guys. We're gonna go upstairs and uh, we're gonna take our investigation upstairs. Here, you guys go ahead and take a couple night photos to see if I can get to the. Alright, that's good. I think it's in here, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, it's over here, over here. I think it's over here, that room. Do you have the REM pod? I'm gonna put this right here somewhere. Yeah, this room, this room. You have the REM pod or no? Just watch this thing. I'm putting it right there in case there's something walks by. You have the REM pod? Oh, fuck, I thought you had it. All right, guys, so early in the video, I said I was gonna leave this specific room till the very end. And this is a room where guys would bring girls in here and they would R them. I can't say the word because YouTube will demonetize me, but it started with the letter R and it's four letters. That's what this room is. People have died in this room because of them getting R. So we're gonna get the REM pod, we're gonna get the necrophonics here, and we're gonna see what goes on in here. Well, you guys wanna sit for this? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I wanna sit for the SLS. I can sit that up. Bro, if we see anything right now, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be at the same time. And we're gonna really like, call these ghosts out to wake up a little bit? Should we go to a. What, you, what room do you think we should go to? Well, first of all, that big one. Oh, is that here? Oh, and even the closet. Oh, let's see if there's something in the closet. Oh, yeah. I'm just turning on the discombobulator. The what? The discombobulator. And run. Yeah, we've been filming for hours. Hours? Yeah. Well, it's not 30 only. Yeah. No bad, no bad at all. Uh, I heard the music box going off. It was just us every time. We, walk by. we stare at each other every time. We keep walking by the idiots. But there is one time that I heard it off by itself. But all the other times it was. Yeah. Alright, let's get, Carl, you're gonna have to get up because we need to light, we need to light up the room. Should I turn on the lights actually? No. No? Keep them off? Do the dark. Alright. Should we go in here? Huh? Should I go in there? Uh, well no, then it's gonna map you out. So just aim at the closet. Oh, just stand here. Yeah. So oh, aim okay. at the closet. Alright, let's enter. Alright, sync audio. Alright, so we got the SLS camera right now, mapping this closet where a lot of atrocities have taken place. Let's see if we can get any type of figure on the SLS camera. Hey spirits, you wanna appear in the closet for us? Is anyone in there? We brought you a friend. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like right? bait? <laughs> that's a good, good idea. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're the bait, let's go. So like, no thanks guys, I'm not down. Do you wanna walk in the closet? What? You can. You can? But walk in and walk out. Like quickly. We well, can let's, take turns walking. Let's see what happens after she walks in and out, right? Alright, fine, fine. This all is right. what we're doing. This we'll time. take turns, we'll take turns. She all can right. go in first. I'm gonna just pick up the chairs first of all. Alright. 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 Is anybody in here with me? Any of the servants that were treated wrong, raped. Oh, oh, something started to appear. Wherever. Oh. To my right, on, on the wall, over here. Oh, yeah. oh, it's standing right outside the blue wall. Yeah. Right here on my left. Who are you? Oh, oh my. It's oh. Got, so it's got you mapped out, and it's got a very large figure that I'm not even joking. It's it looks like shoulders. it looks like it's humping the wall. What the hell? Behind me? No, 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 it's out here. Gross pig. That was weird. Do you guys see that? 
Yes. It's literally humping the wall. What the? What is it doing? What you think it's doing. Exactly what you think it's doing. It's literally humping the damn wall. That is weird. Okay, um... Do you... Can you stop do, doing that? What are you? Can you go in the closet? It's, oh, oh, it's moving! It's, it's, it's moving. trying to come into it's the doing closet. something. It's yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, it's literally trying to get into the closet, but it's going very slow. <gasps> it's okay. Guys, it's literally going in the closet. It's like moving I its have arms. A question for you. She's got a question for you. Go in the closet. Come on in. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's like moving slowly, but it is moving in. It's. It won't come in. It's just staying right there on the edge of the wall. Do you want me to come to the edge of the door? Do you want me to come to the edge of the door? Raise your right hand. Raise your hand if you want me to come to the door. It's moving its arm. It's almost like it's stuck there. It's weird. <gasps> it just raised its freaking right hand. Oh. I'm not even joking. Oh! It just raised its right hand. Okay, so you want me to come to the I can't, door. it's still raising me. Alright, I'm gonna come to the door a little bit. A little bit closer. Now if I come closer, can you come closer in? I say come straight to the edge of that door. Alright, yeah. I want right here. Come on out. She's coming to say hello. I want right here. Reach your hand out and be friends with her. Sorry. It just Let's reaches see. hand out. It literally just reaches arm out. You're inches away from its arm. Okay, grab my hand, but you cannot stay with me. Oh! What is it doing? It's like bending away. Away from me? It's like going like this to grab her arm. What the hell? Just, just grab it like a normal person. I know you're not alive anymore. Just why are there two figures now standing outside of the door? What the hell? Is one of them me? No, you're not even mapped out anymore. But it's like your figure came out of you. It's weird. It's like your figure is like trying to protect you. Can you two hold hands? It's okay. Hold each other's hands. Just hold each other's We're hand. It's trying to run away. It looks like it was, yeah. It's trying to run away into the blue, the blue corner here. It's literally in the corner now. There's no escape. Afraid? There's no escape, is there? It's it's literally trying to run away. I'm gonna stand over here. What are you planning on doing now? And it just disappeared. It's gone. Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah, it's gone. Wow, that was crazy. Are they both gone? They're both gone. They're gone. Oh, here. Let me go back on you. See me? See you and I. Even, I see your thing is back, but that's just your life force. That was a too. Yeah, that's your life force. Yeah, the thing is gone. Where did you go? I wonder if it's at the door. Get, get, get some light on that door and the cameras. All right, so uh, make the door slam. It's an ambitious ask, right? We should go into the room with the ball. What ball? Oh, yeah, yeah let's go, let's go. Let's Where go there's a cradle and stuff. Yeah. You guys need the way since you got the cameras? I would like for this thing to work. This thing doesn't work with that proper lighting. It's too dark. Oh, that's us. Ah. That's what we kept doing. We kept doing that. We just haven't learned, have we? Who's here? Where are you? Move the ball. It's sitting in the baby cradle. No! Oh my god! Oh! It just appeared out of nowhere and it's literally sitting in the baby cradle. Carl, are you filming the baby cradle with both cameras? Mm hmm. Yeah. It just disappeared. Where did you go? Come back into the cradle. Move the ball. It was literally like a little child sitting in that. Oh. That's what it looked Oh, it's still here. You can come and see it. A police officer gave me that. No way. Come, come over here and see what I'm seeing. He just retired. He just moved to yeah. Vegas. It, it's back now. Come over here and see what I'm seeing. You like the cradle? Come sit in this chair over here. Let's try something out. Oh, there's like two freaking things now all of a sudden. One attached to each cradle. That is so strange. What's this? How about you come and sit in this chair? Yo, if it appears into this chair, then that means this thing's intelligent and it can move. 
That would be creepy. Yeah. Be. Come to this chair right now. Have a seat. I'm gonna sit here and wait. Come on in, have a seat. We're waiting. Nothing. Oh, wait, wait. I disappeared. I disappeared. Where do you think it went? Well, it knows we want to see it, right? Right. And it's trying its best. Maybe it's hiding. It just showed up into this chair right now, and then it disappeared. Alright, guys. Uh, gotta sit down and relax. I am actually gonna end this video off. This was an amazing experience to do this mansion. The SK Pier Mansion, SK Pierce Mansion, is probably by far one of the best mansions I've done in a long time, or if not in general. We mixed it all in. I did the explore. We got the history of the place. We did a little bit of a paranormal investigation. So there's a bit of everything in this. So hopefully you all enjoyed that. Smash the like button. Comment what your thoughts are on this place, just in general, because, like I said, this is. Such a great place. And for the price they got it for, how much money they have into it, I guarantee you this is worth way more than what they have all together into it. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep it real, stay positive, keep living that dream, and I'll see you next time. Peace.